Hey everyone, Analog Beast here. Uh, today we're going to be doing well, one of my first real unboxing videos on YouTube. Uh, yeah, let's just get, jump right into it. This thing showed up early. We got right here. This thing is a Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collector, or excuse me, Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Zam uh, Zassian and Zamazenta. This thing is so big it doesn't even fit in frame. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out, but... Yeah, so this thing is just massive. And you get so much stuff inside this box too. So you get one special gold uh, version of Zassian V, one special gold version of Zas or Zamazenta V, two sets of metal damage counter dice, 12 dice in all, two metal coins featuring Zassian and Zamazenta, uh, two sets of card sleeves featuring both of the dogs, uh, a set of virtually designed metal condition markers, 16 booster packs. So these 16 booster packs, it's um, four packs per each expansion of the set so far. And then you get a player's guide and then a code card. But yeah, this thing wasn't supposed to come out until I believe the 20th. But because uh, I ordered it through GameStop and it just showed up early, which is interesting to say the least. But let's go ahead and get this in frame. Yeah, I think it's just so massive, but. All right, let's jump into this thing. Let's go ahead and get all the plastic off of it. But I just recently started collecting again, um, probably about about a month ago. And I just jumped back in with Darkness Ablaze, and ever since I uh, started with that set and pulled the um, V-Max Charizard out of that one, I just kind of got hooked again. And recently I pulled uh, the Rainbow Charizard out of Champion's Path. But, all right, so this little... Cardboard little box thing. Yeah, it's got the guide on the back of it. But this thing is really, really well made. And it's just massive. So we go ahead and fold this open. All right. I'm going to kind of hold the camera here a little bit. But this is a magnetic lid on this thing. And then, okay, we need to turn this over. So let's do this. We are going to fold that down there. And then this just folds open like this. So you got this very, very beautiful gold embossed box here with Zassi and Zamazenta on it. It's even got, everything's black and gold in this box. This is just a really well put together product. So go ahead and see what's inside this real quick. So inside here we have the trading guard game rule book. Put that off to the side. We have the series players collector's guide here. Uh, if I can get it out. Oops. All right. Code card. Put that off the side. So this is what I've been kind of interested in looking at because this guide that comes with this one, I just found out this morning, shows you all the promos that are out in the series. And then... Yeah, it just gives you a little bit of history, some of the cards, some of the changes. The new Amazing Rare cards. So, let's get over here. And what's interesting is, I saw somebody put this online this morning, so this is pretty new news to a lot of people, but with the promo card list, it goes all the way from the beginning of the first Sword and Shield promos up to what's currently out, or what's about to come out. If you go over to here, to the last page. So this card here just got announced uh, like a day or two ago. And this is, uh, you get that one for pre-ordering or spending $20 or more on PokemonCenter.com. But that card has not been announced yet. It's a very similar card. So it's probably going to be some kind of same um, promotion that uh, Pokemon Center is going to be doing. So that card's going to be coming out sooner or rather than later. And then these are the two gold cards that come in this set. And then they have the Ore Beetle V. The only one they don't show is the new Alakazam V card that's going to be coming out too. But yeah, that's the player's guide, so we'll put that off to the side. Uh, we also have in here, let's see if I can get all this out in one piece. We have the Zamazenta side. We'll just pull. Actually, that's not even a drawer. That's just a decoration. Okay, well, we can put that back in. So if we go to Zassi side first. Ah. So here is the first promo in the set. 
And that thing is just gorgeous. It looks just slightly off center, but eh, just a little bit. Sorry to get that frame for you. But that will definitely be getting those graded. So put that over there. You get the Zassian coin, which is there. That, yeah, it's actual metal, so it's got a little weight to it. So I'll put that off the side. We have the sleeves, which are really nice. And then in this one, there are four standard sword and shield packs. So we'll get those off the side. And you get some uh, dividers in here as well. Just little short ones that you guys decide to keep your cards. Uh, we'll leave the sleeves out for now. I'll leave the promo out and put the coin back. Let's go ahead and put all that back out real quick. Sorry holding the camera like this. Unfortunately, this box is so big, it just doesn't fit on the desk when it's unfolded for the tripod. So put that back. Once uh, once you get all the packs out, we'll put, move the box out of the way or close it back up. And you go to the other side, you have the Zamazenta V card. Put that off to the side. Uh, some more sleeves. Pull that out. And, yep. Pretty standard sleeves. You have the gold uh, as I was at the coin. We'll put that back in there. And then this side, there are also more dividers. And then these are four packs of Vivid Voltage. So I have not opened any Vivid Voltage yet, so that'll be nice. And then the center one's probably just the rest of the packs. And oh, okay. So these are all the metal dice. And yeah, these things are actually, actually pretty heavy. Just add a little weight to them. Get two sets of dice for your damage counters. Uh, two special tokens. These ones are all metal as well. So, and then you get four packs of Rebel Clash, four packs of Darkness Blaze. We'll put those off to the side, and then more dividers. So, let's go ahead and close this up. Put all these back. We get to make some room on the desk here. So, we'll fold that up. And like I said, yeah, this is all metal. So, I mean, it's all magnetized too. So, that's really. Really premium quality product. So, okay, I'm try to get everything in frame here. Like I said, it's just so big. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna take this off the desk for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some packs here. Uh, generally, I don't give away code cards on these videos, just the fact that uh, I do play a little bit of TCG online, so. Psychic Energy, Vitality Band, Haunter, Thwacky, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Ferro Seed, Krabby, Maractus, and Regular Corviknight. Put those off the side. But yeah, it's been really nice to see what um, Pokemon's done with the new Sword and uh, Shield expansion. I've been really, I've been very impressed by it. So, right, let me get rid of that. Got Water Energy. Yeah, Drizzile, the Sharp, Evolution Incense, Maractus, Glaring Meowth, Slizipede, Wooloo, Grookey. Uh, Glorian Stunfisk and regular Cramorant. I will say though, for the Champions Path expansion at least, though, I've had very bad luck with that set. But finally pulled that one out of an ETB. It just took me quite some time and a lot of ETBs to find it. And obviously, with all the scalpers uh, driving all the prices up of the ETBs right now, it's not made it a very easy task, but my local store just got a huge shipment of Champions Pass stuff in, so I was able to get some product, which was nice. Got Darkness Energy, Energy Switch, Dollar, Glorian Stunfisk, Flip Up, uh, Baltoy, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Choodle, and Regular Rare Cinderace. So no hollows yet. All right, one more Sword and Shield pack, and then we'll jump into Ripple Clash. All right. Two, three, four. All right, we got 
Steel Energy. We got Reboot, Hop, Pokey Year 3.0, Clavapus, Ghastly, Rookity, Solicipede, Snom, Mawile, and Victini V. All right. Nice card. We'll put that off the side. We'll get that sleeved up here in a minute. So one pull so far. All right. So let's jump into the Rebel Clash. Right, put the trash out of the way here. Okay. So I actually haven't bought much Rebel Clash yet from the series. Uh, so it's kind of nice to have a little start for me to get into it. So we got Leaf Energy, Skyla, Luxio, Dracloak, Growlithe, Droopy, Snover, Binnacle, Glorian Duramaka, Coughing Reverse, and Regular Rare Berserker. Okay. Oops, nope, that is those voltage. We don't want that. There we go. Okay. Let's get that this time. Because I completely ripped that pack apart. Alright, so we got Darkness Energy, Sonya, uh, Masquerade, Hatterin, Impidimp, Magmar, Electabuzz, Squabbit, Snover, Pinnacle, and Regular Rare Alcremie. Okay. Yeah, so far not too many hits, and that's our sixth pack. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four. Alright, we got Water Energy, we got Hatterim, Carcol, uh, Beware, Toxel, Litwick, Lotad, Clefairy, Baltorb, Palpitoad, and ooh, Hollow Colossal. Okay. Second hit of the day. And the last Rebel cra uh, Clash pack. Definitely cannot talk today. Don't mind me. I'm pretty much illiterate at this point. Okay. One, two, three, four. Alright, we got Steel Energy, Charge a Bug, Gun Tank, Full Heal, Meditite, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Natu, Hone Edge, Scyther, and Santa Conda V. Alright. Okay, put those off the side. Put those off. Alright. Darkness of Blaze. Now, I've already pulled the Charizard VMAX in the set, but there's still a lot of other really good cards that I need to pull, so. Always very happy and excited to get some Darkness of Blaze. If I can actually get it open. Okay. Okay. We got Electric Energy, Rose Tower, Simiseer, Larion, Purloin, Hippopotas. Centret, Larvesta, Morlul, Heatran, and Regular Rarest Cavalier. Okay. Let me get my cards all stacked up here. Okay, next pack. Okay, these ones are really hard to open today. Okay. Okay. Oh, old deck bot fell apart there. All right. We got Fighting Energy, Kabu, Turbo Patch, uh, Dartrix, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, Torchic, Golurk, and then, ooh, regular Melmetal. I do enjoy a good Melmetal card every now and then. I don't have that one, so. Nice little addition. One, two, three, 
four. All right, we got Fire Energy. We got Vanillish, Shinodic, Ursaring, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvitar, Golet, Phoebus, Darkrai, and ooh, it turned into VMAX. I think I have this one already, but I will happily take another. All right, so last one. And then we will get into the new set. If I can ever get these, holy crap. What did they clue this with? There we go. Okay. So we got Psychic Energy, we got Hiding Energy, uh, Fletchinder, can't ever pronounce that name, Gotharita, Larvesta, Hippopotas, Golit, Skitty, Dino, Paris, and then Glorian, Mr. Rhyme. So that's it for the Darkness of Blaze packs. Let me get this all cleaned up. Okay. Move the stacks out of the way. And then for the newest set, Vivid Voltage. Now, I have not opened any Vivid Voltage products yet, so this is my first time ever opening this set. I do have some more Vivid Voltage stuff coming, which I'll probably do a video on it. I did pre-order the uh, Fall Collector's Tin, which has Vivid Voltage in it. So hopefully the pulls are going to be really good in this one. Okay. So we got Steel Energy, Go Goat, Wind in Stadium, Matang, Slugma, Wishmer, Execute, Wubat, Beldum, Telescopic Sight, and regular rare uh, Kruger Dial. And so far the pools have been okay in this box. Hopefully you can pull an amazing rare in one of these because I'm really curious to see one. Water Energy, Alistair, oops. Or pull one of the really nice rainbow rare forts. Get back in frame here. Uh, Matang, Kakuna, Puchiana, Charmander, uh, Chadot, Joltik, Cottony, Swallow, and regular rare Clefable. Nothing. All right. Second to last pack. Try to end this on a strong note over here. Oh, I yanked that one right off the frame. Okay. All right. Darkness Energy, Moo Moo Cheese. That's an interesting card. They will like uh, Galavantula, Charmander, uh, Chellot, Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray. Nuzleaf and regular Quagsire. And he is derpy in that picture. It's a little fun card. All right. Last Vivid Voltage Pack. Let's see if we can at least pull something, at least a hollow. All right. Give me the goods. All right, we have Leaf Energy. Uh... Crocker Rock, Delmies, Rocky Helmet, Fampy, Dunskull, uh, Duskull, excuse me. Wow, cannot talk today. Electrike, Pineco, Mudbray, Weedle, Hollow Zekrom. Okay, so at least got one card out of this. So, okay, clear this off and recap real quick. So, you get some really cool promos of this set. That's kind of the big takeaway. And you get a really nice box and a nice selection of packs, but. The Zassian V and the Zamazenta V, they are just gorgeous cards. And they're the same art uh, as the ones from the Sword and Shield base set, because you can see with the Zassian card here, I have the gold card here. And obviously it's the same artwork, just different design. But overall, just gorgeous cards. I really like the way this set came out, or these promos, excuse me. But you got those. And then recaps on the pools. We got... Zekrom Hollow, Eternatus V Max, Sanaconda V, Colossal, and Victini V. But 
thank you guys. Ooh, that's loud as hell. Turn that off. But thank you guys for coming out and watching the video. If you guys liked uh, the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And I will see you for the next unboxing. Later.